Hello there. Well, in this particular section, we're going to be talking about the start of the swing for the with the forward press. What's important here is how we use the hands, especially we're going to make emphasis on the right hand and we're going to look at the pressure point number one in the right hand. So from here, I'm going to be pressing from the back side of the grip forward with the right hand lifeline or heel pad area. And I'm going to be pressing backward with these two middle fingers. Now when I do that, you'll notice that there's a bend in the shaft. So when I'm holding it up here, the club head moves backwards. Now if I move back to here, where the golf ball is, and I take my stance on the golf ball, when I, instead of moving the club head backward, the club head rests on the ground, when I press full, uh, from the, these middle two fingers backward and, the, and the, the wrist forward, what happens is the right elbow bends. While the right elbow bends, it rocks the shoulders so the shoulders don't spin open. That same action with the hands, that hand pressure, it turns the left hip, straightens the left leg a little, and makes the right, left shoulder move up. And in the process, the handle of the club moves forward and hence we call it a forward press. It really is important because it's a, a spring load or it kick starts the backswing. And it, with the correct use of this right hand, with these fingers pushing from the front side backward while you're pushing up here forward with the, with the right hand lifeline heel pad, causes the forward press to work correctly and engages the body especially the shoulders and the hips to move correctly at the start to kick start the takeaway.